this is the very first time I'm taking an astronomy picture outside my house. I have a bunch of telescopes at home, whether it was older home or the new home. I mainly took pictures using my telescopes from home. So this is the very first time I took my equipment parked over there. It's basically a small telescope and a camera and I wanted to take the picture of the Comet Leonard. So it is going to come, probably will start showing up on the west side right there. So the sun is setting. I'm worried that there are a whole bunch of clouds there. It's kind of clear up there, but if the planets are going to align the Jupiter, Saturn and the Venus to the left of the Venus, it is going to show that comet. It kind of is like a triangle between the planets and the comet. So it is going to be an interesting feature to see like Saturn on the top, Venus to the right and uh, comet Leonard to the left. So I'm in the northern hemisphere. I'm here in US, United States. Uh, I'm in Texas. So I'm taking this picture in the evening time and depends on where you are probably an hour before the sunset if you set up everything you have time probably an hour after the sunset maybe to watch this comet like the way i ran down here you may need to look for any sky that has an open horizon so that you may be able to see it it's pretty low in the horizon i was actually thinking to go live using my small refractor telescope and show people live this view. I don't think so. I don't know if I got a good data connection or a good um, of any kind. And also I would like to see if the comet still shows up with the clouds there in the horizon. So this is the equipment that I'm going to use today. So this is a small refractor telescope. It is sharp star 60 mm wide angle refractor triplet and then I have a ZWO 533 one shot color. I did put a filter inside with a small star is on a filter slider and this is going to show me the comet if the comet can be shown behind that clouds. Uh, you know if that filter border filter is going to show up so this is the mini guide scope, the ZWO 30mm guide scope with a 120mm guide camera here. I don't think I'm going to do guiding. I just put it up there just in case. And there is a small red dot finder here in the back. Uh, this is a Skywatcher Altas, which converted into like an EQ kind of a uh, mount. I tried to use this before and I set this up to go out somewhere, take some pictures outside my house and I didn't realize it's going to happen and it's going to happen pretty soon. But anyway, so we'll try this setup for the Comet Leonard. I don't know if it is as powerful as Rasa, but I think we should be able to see it. As you can see, I'm using my laptop to connect this equipment there. I got to figure that out before the sun is going to set. So that's the plan. And I wanted to go live as well once I'm done with this.